friends, it's Miss Jen. I'm going to do a craft with you today. So on the last day of school, Miss Jamie and Miss Jen gave everyone that was there a bag with some supplies in it. So in this bag, you will find a little note to mom and dad. You're gonna find a magnet a rock, and some googly eyes. So first what we're going to do, well, I'll tell you, this is going to be a pet rock magnet. You can put it on your fridge or on your front door or wherever you have in your house that magnets stick to. So first thing we're gonna do, the rocks are clean. Miss Jen cleaned them all, you don't have to worry about that. So the paint will stick to it nicely. First thing you're going to do, I'm going to use um, Q-tips to paint because not everyone would have paint brushes um, and I'm using just dollar store acrylic paint. So first thing I'm going to do is put some paint on my rock. I'm going to paint it all over. Some of your guys rocks are smooth, some were rough, some were um, round, somewhere square. There was rocks from all different colors and all different sizes. So after you paint it, you can paint lots of different colors. Sorry. That's all right. And then the best thing about using the Q-tips is then you can throw them away. You don't even have to clean them after. So I put some purple on and now I'm going to do some yellow dots. You can wait until the um, purple dries if you want, but you don't have to. You can see what color purple and yellow mixed together makes. There. So there's my rock painted. Now the next step you don't really want to do until it's dry. So I painted a rock earlier. This is a different one that we had. And I didn't paint the bottom. I don't think that that's, I think that's okay. I think that if you do paint the bottom, the, the magnet will still stick. So there's my rock. I'm gonna get a paper towel. because I don't want to get the other paint on my, my new rock. So I'm going to tilt the camera down for this part. So you can use a couple of things to glue the bits on. You'll need mom and dad's help for this. So you could use a strong glue like Gorilla Glue or you could use a glue gun. I have the glue gun already plugged in and ready to go. I actually think I might need a new glue stick in it. Let's do that. Okay. So on the bottom, I'm going to put some glue. This definitely needs mom and dad's help. And then I'm going to put the magnet on there. And squish it and hold it until it dries. There. See? It's on there. Get rid of the little strings. And then, so this is how it will stick on the door. So on the front here, I'm going to glue his eyeballs. So, put one dot there. Be very careful that you don't burn your fingers. And one dot there. Oh, ouch, burned myself. I've got some glue on the bottom part. There, there's my little pet rock that can go 
on the fridge. And if you have um, a marker, I've got a marker. You can give him or her some little eyelashes. Eyelashes on top. And we can give him or her a mouth. Maybe he's going, ah. Open wide. There's his mouth. And there's our eyelashes. All right. So there we go. There is the pet rock activity that we sent the stuff home with you for. So you can make your pet rock with the googly eyes and then you can put it on your fridge. I know that that's where I'm going to put mine. Okay, we'll see you if we make the next video and there'll be some stories and some activities posted soon. All right, I'll see you when I see you. Bye.